Welcome to A Course in Miracles with the whole Ho'oponopono lens. We are in the workbook section. We're going to cover two things today. One of the things we're going to cover is the keyword salvation and lesson 231. That's the second thing we're going to cover. Um, in the other part of the workbook, I believe it was lesson 221 to lesson 230, we covered forgiveness. And this section of the book, we are to, as we go through our daily lessons, we are to think about salvation. What is salvation? Salvation is a promise made by God that you would find your way to him at last. It cannot but be kept. So his promise, it can only be kept. It guarantees that time will have an end and all the thoughts that have been born in time will end as well. So any thoughts that were born in time, those will be, uh, those will cease. God's thoughts, because of who he is and the power that he has, or they, I should say, um, they, their thoughts are forever. Once that thought is sent out, it's forever. That's why we will never die. That's why our spirit will never die. Okay. Uh, on this duality, this plane of duality, yes, we may or may not die. Uh, but definitely our spirit is invulnerable. We will not die. God's word is given every mind which thinks that it has separate thoughts. Um, so God's word is given every mind which thinks that it has separate thoughts and will replace these thoughts of conflict with a thought of peace. So when God has his thoughts, his thoughts are full of peace, love, joy, uh, life, abundance, health, so on and so forth. That's who God is. That is his nature. And um, he has given, when he created our spirits, he's given us all those good things. The thought of peace was given to God's son the instant that his mind had thought of war. There was no need for such a thought before, for peace was given without opposite and merely was. But when the mind is split, there is a need of healing. So the thought that has the power to heal the split became a part of every fragment of the mind that still was one, but failed to recognize its oneness. Now did it not know itself and thought its own identity was lost. However, salvation is undoing in the sense that it does nothing, failing to support the world of dreams and malice. So this world of duality is a world of dreams, a world of illusions. Um, let me read on. I'm jumping ahead. Thus, it lets illusions go. By not supporting them, it merely lets them quietly go down to dust. And what they hid is now reveal an altar to the holy name of God, whereon his word is written, with the gifts of your forgiveness laid before it and the memory of God not far behind. So because we live in this duality, this world of duality, we shouldn't be fighting for anything. We just let the stuff go. We don't, uh, we withdraw our consent. We don't consent to things by giving it attention. We attend to what we want to happen. And so we're not going to, fight against sickness, fight against poverty, fight against um, conflict. We are going to recognize the peace and attend our minds to peace, wealth, creativity, health, abundance, so on and so forth, love, joy, so on and so forth. Let us come daily to this holy place and spend a while together. Here we share our final dream. It is a dream in which there is no sorrow, for it holds a hint of all the glory given us by God. The grass is pushing through the soil, the trees are budding now, and birds have come to live within their branches. Earth is being born again in new perspective. Night has gone, and we have come together in the light. 
So we have been, by being in this dual, dualistic world, the world of duality, we have been programmed to think a certain way. And that's why A Course in Miracles is a course in mind training. We are retraining our mind. Um, so for instance, today I kept saying to things that irritate me, things, people, etc., that irritated me, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased because that's how the father looks at people. He looks they look at people um, in their innocence. And so I am starting to do that too. It's not necessarily easy, but it is simple. We just have to reprogram our mind. And, you know, we didn't get here overnight. So um, it's going to take some time to reprogram the mind. And I'm okay with that. And the reason why I am diligently on fire for A Course in Miracles is because I know that once my mind is changed, my life will change. Because this dualistic world is an outpicturing of what is going on within us, whether consciously or unconsciously. Going back to the text, from here we give salvation to the world, for it is here salvation was received. The song of our rejoicing is the call to all the world that freedom is returned. That time is almost over and God's son has but an instant more to wait until his father is remembered. Dreams are done. Eternity has shined away the world and only heaven now exists at all. Mm. So when we change our minds, when we have this new perspective, it said earth is being born again, a new perspective. That is because we are bringing heaven to earth. And that is why I love Ho'oponopono, because we get to bring heaven to this world of dual duality. And one way I did that today and do it, you know, all the time is when I'm speaking with someone, or rather, if someone is talking to me, I just say, I love you, I love you, I love you. I say that to the divine, and sometimes I say it to the person. Now, this is not an outward saying. This is an internal saying, um, and I say it internally on a loop while the person is talking. And for me, it just, I'm seeing... Um, love where I would see sometimes irritation. I just am seeing love. Okay, I'm just going to make a note of the time while I move to the next page. Lesson 231. Father, I will but to remember you. And this is what we should or could be doing every single day this lesson what can I seek for, Father, but your love? Perhaps I think I seek for something else, a something I have called by many names. Yet is your love the only thing I seek or ever sought? For there is nothing else that I could ever really want to find. Let me remember you. What else could I desire but the truth about myself? You know, I thrive on love, and so I identify with being love with the Father. And so Ho'oponopono, as we're talking to people, that's what, you know, I do. I say to divinity, I love you, I love you, I love you, inwardly on a loop. And then I also um, project that, th that thought outward to the person sometimes as well. Ho'oponopono brings the Father and heaven on earth to us, and I just love it. This is your will, my brother, and you share this will with me and with the one as well as who is our Father. To remember him is heaven. This we seek, and only this is what will be given us to find. So we're bringing, instead of having duality, we're bringing the true reality, the one reality to earth. 
and heaven overwrites duality. And um, I like to say, I love you, I love you, I love you. You can also do a Ho'oponopono clearing prayer by saying to divinity, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and all things giving thanks. Or you can say the four original phrases, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. You're saying that internally as you're experiencing your day, or you can do it ahead of time for events that are pre-planned or as triggers come up. I just like to do it in general, but uh, do it as you feel inspired to do it. Okay, that is it for today. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I look forward to talking to you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.